UWL's ousted chancellor says his firing violated both his free speech and due process rights. Wednesday, the UW Board of Regents fired the longtime UWL Chancellor Joe Gao for appearing in and producing online pornography with his wife. In an exclusive interview with News 8 Now Thursday, Gao said the board was overreacting and taking a hypocritical stance on free speech. He says he also wasn't given due process before termination. He says he met with HR the week prior and was asked about a report that he was engaging in pornography and had written several books under a fake name about explicit content. He told them yes and that he and his wife do those things as private citizens without making any references to the university. That's why he says he was shocked Wednesday that UW President Jay Rothman had sent him a message saying he was out as chancellor. There's some vague references in there to, you know, not behaving in the way a chancellor ought to behave. And I think that's a very subjective uh, matter. And This is something that is a big part of human life and something that there are a lot of taboos around and people are reluctant to talk about it. And I think the best part of this whole episode is that we are getting people to talk a little more freely. News A Now has submitted an open records request to UW Lacrosse to see that full message that Rothman sent Gao. In the meantime, Gao is on paid administrative leave as he goes from chancellor to a faculty role with UWL. But Rothman has also filed a complaint with interim chancellor Betsy Morgan to review Gao's tenured role. Gao is considering legal action. In a statement today, Jay Rothman says Gao served at the pleasure of the Board of Regents and was not entitled to any termination process. Quote, good judgment requires that there are and must be limits on what is said or done by the individuals entrusted to lead our universities. We expect our chancellors as the leaders of these great institutions to be role models for our students, staff, and faculty, as well for the communities we are privileged to